Gaming like a new. Hello and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob and I call myself Sansomi. And if you're subscribed to the channel, I say thank you very much. And if you're not, I say please do, it would help me out a lot. Now having that out of the way, it's Thursday. It's a Manchester United save. And um yeah, it's the Thursday before Christmas, people. I hope you will enjoy a um, nice holiday. Let's uh, get into this game and see what kind of players we can use today. It's the UEFA Super Cup against Wolves. We want to retain that title, that's for sure. So let's see. Um, oh, Davis should be rested. We have loads of... What is this? Have we turned off? Yes, we have. Do like that then. And let's see what we do have. I haven't played this game for quite a while. Burton, that put him on the bench. Um, Guerrero, maybe. Rashford, let's put Rashford on the bench. There's loads of room for players here. That's good. Um, Val Morgan. Do we have somebody else that we want to? Rowan Pressland. I'm not sure. Short tire. We go for Gosi Dovey. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. <clears throat> we can see here it's uh, Sheshko and Adayemi at the moment. And I'm thinking maybe we should be putting in the listed Erling Haaland. Let's do that. Uh, and this Stockbridge, Stockbridge should be on his way in. I think we're going to go with Drew Warburton as well since Davis is so tired. Hopefully, uh, that won't be too much of a loss. I think we have a good side now. Hmm. Let's go for this. And if things go easy, if we take a big lead, Morgan Pierce will come in. Who we have very high hopes for. He's 19 now, so he needs to develop a bit quicker, I think. But yeah, so we need to play him a bit more, I guess. <clears throat> but let's get on with this. Let's get in and let's see what we can do in this Super UEFA or UEFA Super Cup final. We're not going hard in on tackles. Uh, pump our fist and go with the assistance recommendation. Match preview, kick off and skip. Here we go. The game is up and, and running. Under Herrera playing for Wolves. That's interesting. Kilman. Van Drochbischen. All right. Under Herrera. Oh, good ball. But Warburton is there. Good Warburton. That's a good one. Warburton. Fernandez. Warburton. Good ball in. And there's one. Haaland gets two chances and he scores. An assist from Warburton. That's good. That's really good. That could help in Warburton's development. Nice one. Really nice one. Yeah, look at that. 7.4 for Warburton. Because of that. And here we go again. Benyot, Fofana, Bellingham, Lante, Sancho, Bellingham, Lante. Oh, couldn't really reach Sancho there. That's unfortunate. Come on, United. Oh, Benyot, Sancho, yeah, Lante, Haaland. 
Here comes Erling Haaland, gets it in there, and Mbappe is there, and it's 2-0. We're running over Wolves here now. In the ninth minute, 2-0. Nice. There is a big chance that we will bring in some young legs in this game. Uh -oh. I'm thinking about Pierce, Dosi, and perhaps a striker or something. So that's good. That's really good, to be honest. And uh, yeah, here we come again. Warburton, Fernandez, Warburton, Savana. Warburton is really engaged in this game. He's really involved. Here's Arayemi, Mbappe, 3 0. Another trophy for us. Marvelous. Fantastic, wonderful. Uh, it's um, nice that we continue to win, even though we're trying to rejuvenate the team at the moment. Um, uh, and making it a bit more, ch a bit cheaper. Um, I feel that Erling Haaland, with a half a million pounds, is a bit much so uh yeah Haaland Sancho no and Haaland Erling Haaland but he really does mean a lot for us so uh it will be interesting to see if we can keep this up if and when we sell him look at that Nice. 4-0 and first half isn't over yet. That's good. Nito and headed away. Here's Arayemi on the run. He does have Haaland with him. Here, here Haaland gets the ball. And Arayemi runs into the middle there. Bellingham. Haaland. Haaland shoots. Oh. Not a very good shot though, I must say. Two goals from Haaland, two goals from Mbappe. Rafana. Benyot. Bellingham. Lamte. Sancho. Haaland. Lamte. Sancho. Haaland. Here we go again. And ooh, good side by the keeper. <clears throat> so, corner. Fernandez. And Haaland is there, but no. Mbappe, Fernandez. Come on, United. Bellingham. Lamte. Benyot, Bellingham. And no. Come on. Fofana. Benyot. De Gea. I think I'm quite pleased that we have kept De Gea in our uh, situation here. In real life, um, life hasn't been easy for Onana, that's for sure. Here's Arayemi, back to Mbappe. Mbappe to Warburton. Oh, good effort from Warburton, I must say. That's nice. Fernandez. Uh, we're definitely going to bring on Morgan Pierce in the second half. And then we have to see what else we will do. Long ball up to Warburton to agree with that. Fernandez, Mbappe, Arayemi. Oh, what a beautiful strike. What a goal from Arayemi. That was a beaut. If it stands, let's VRR. Is, it's awarded. Thank you. Look at this goal. Bellingham, Fernandez, Mbappe, Adayemi. Look at how he places that. Holy smokes. It reminds me of an Olegana Solskjaer goal, but he was a bit closer and he put it into the other corner by standing. Yeah, pretty much 
around here someplace and he puts it into the far corner. I think it was against Chelsea. Uh, but I I can see the goal in front of me and uh, it was a beaut when Solskjaer did it as well. So, 5-0 and uh, yeah, let's see if we can do the changes now. Yes, we can. So we go for... Let's have a look at what kind of players we do have still as well. We have Woodall, Valbruggen, and Dosi. Let's go for Pierce. Let's go for Dosi here. And let's actually do three changes. I'm going to take out Rayemi and give Verbruggen an opportunity to play. Let's just go with the assistant's recommendation. And uh, we start the second half. So let's hope we don't get any injuries or red cards or something. Because then it could be a bit scarce here. But five, we should not drop five goals. Even though we've changed the three players that we have. Here's Dovey. Here's Haaland. Here's Benioff. Here's Morgan Pierce. Here's Dovey. Trying to get it up to Lamptey, but no. It will be interesting to see what the Verbruggen can do as well. That's also an interesting thing. And yeah, this is the first real episode of this season, of course. Last episode was the Community Shield against Liverpool. Um, but we also went through what has happened during the summer break here with uh, signings and players that has left and stuff like that. So um, this is the first full episode of this season. So um, season five, I believe. Here's Haaland. Haaland. Oh. If real life was as easy as Football Manager, I guess it would have been great if... Um, Manchester United would have signed me as manager because this is um, going really good here so far. Um, ooh. It really depends on how our new players develop and stuff like that as well. And, and how long we keep the old players and um, well, everything. Loads of stuff. Um, things can change pretty quick in the football world. Let's see what happens here now. <clears throat> oh, 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 but wasn't he offside? I guess he wasn't. Corner for them. Come on, United. I think I'm going to shout that they should focus now because Wolves is getting into the game and I don't want them to get into the game. Let's see here. Lante to Haaland. Haaland to Pierce. To Haaland. Haaland shoots! Oh! Come on, United. There's 20 minutes to go. We have a 5-0 lead. Which we shouldn't be dropping. And uh, let's see. Pierce, 6.8. Not that great. Dovey, only 6.6. .6. And Verbruggen, only 6.5. So the substitute hasn't really been showing the signs that I was hoping for but uh, yeah at least they get to play and get to get some good training experience and stuff like that here so um, oof, De Gea, De Gea. come on United oh here's Wolves Come on, don't let them score. We want to keep a clean sheet as well. Let's give De Gea a clean sheet. Please. Oh, yes. 
Wolves is really... Oh, that's Haaland stealing the ball there. That's good. Come on, run, Verbruggen, run. Show yourself. Yeah, here we go, Mbappe. Gets it in there, but yeah, that's not a good one. But Dove picks it up. Gets it to Mbappe. Oh! Oh, what a save. Really good save from their keeper. Fernandez. And the keeper has that one as well. 10 minutes to go, or 15 minutes to go. Dovey. Bruniard. Haaland. Fernandez. Mbappe. Verbruggen is in there, but he does not get any contact. Fernandez stealing the ball. Gets it to Mbappe. Verbruggen. Fernandez. Oh. Hmm, that's a bit of a shame. <clears throat> Let's see what happens here now. Oh, uh, come on. Ooh. Well, we are three, three against one, so it shouldn't be a problem. It wasn't this time either. Ten minutes to go. Come on, United. We want to keep a clean sheet. Ah, oh, that's not good. Oh, good save by De Gea. And Warburton, quick to get the ball there. Let's tell them to focus again here. Let's keep our focus and let's uh, win this game. Here's Fofana, Fernandez, Mbappe, Verbruggen. Fofana. Fofana moving up with the ball. Warburton. Oh, almost reaching Mbappe there. Oh, Haaland. Oh, come on. More control there, Haaland. We really would love for Verbruggen to score as well. Um, let's see. Oh, crap. Tabata. Wolves coming here now. Here they come, and ooh, a bit lucky there, hitting the top of the bar. And uh, yeah, let's see, here we come again, Haaland. Oh, that's a bad pass by Haaland, but he is tired. Oh, stealing the ball back, Robertian, and the final whistle has blown. And here we go, lifting the trophy, the UEFA Super Cup. Champione, champione, ole, ole, ole. That's good. Look at this. We're lifting the trophy. And here we go. And it's confetti all the way. All over the stadium here. It's confetti. And it's raining down here as well. This is what's so nice about being or, or managing Manchester United. If you do it right, you do win a lot of trophies, and uh, which I don't do with Welling and uh, Telford in my other saves. But um, it's going quite well, I think, in both of them. Um, the problem is um, it's probably going to come up, but. Um, but now it goes quite well in both of them. So, yeah. Let's see. We did win this game. And uh, it's, um, there's two more games to go for this episode. So I guess I'll just see you in the next game. And so we're here. Second game of this episode. First league game. And it's Tottenham away. And let's jump into it and see what we can do. What kind of players we can use and so on and so forth. <coughs> Davis should be able to come back. Let's start with that. And do we have something else? I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? We do. I think we have the best team on the pitch now, don't we? We do, but maybe we want to... It is the first league game. We don't want to start out bad. So we're going to start with Bruno Fernandes and slowly... Bring back Andy Stockbridge into the team again. Um, try to play him in the second half today and see what happens. 
if no um, injuries and stuff like that happens. Uh, so let's get into the game. And let's see what we can do against Tottenham today. Uh, it's going to be an interesting game, I think. Pump our fist, go for the assistance recommendation, and we kick off, and we skip, and the game is off. And running. Peniot. Moving up. Oh, he's running far this time. Giving it back to Bellingham. To Lamptey. Lamptey tried to read Sancho there, but... Headed away by the Tottenham defender. <clears throat> Davis. Alfonso Davis. Mbappe. Arayene. Oh. Well done, people. Seems like we are a bit better than Tottenham right now at the start. But it's only been two minutes, so uh, yeah. Too early to say that we are the better team here. Tottenham is building up some play here. That's uh, not very good. Lamptey, no problem there. Rafana. Davis. Davis. Arayemi. Oh, long ball to Haaland. Haaland. Oh! Just outside there. Blimey. Holy smokes. That's whew, worrying, but yeah, here comes Tottenham, and De Gea has the ball. Thank you, De Gea. Um, I believe De Gea is getting of eye chair as well, wouldn't he be? He's closing in on thirty-five or something like that, at least. Let's see here now, Sancho. Sancho to Haaland! Erling Haaland! He scores! We take the lead. 1-0 for Manchester United. Long ball from De Gea. To Arayemi, to Sancho. To Haaland. Oh, that's so well played by Sancho there to pass the ball instead of trying for himself. That's marvellous. Beniat to Lamte. Lamte to Sancho. Lamte. Bellingham. Lamte. Arayemi. Ooh. Lamte has been a really good signing as well. I mean, it's not the one that we wanted. Uh, we wanted that. Uh, oh, I can't. Kimish, I think his name was, isn't it? Um, the right defender in that uh, came from. Bayern Munich and is now he chose Manchester City instead of us. Oh, and boy, oh boy, do we feel like he did the wrong choice, don't we? City actually lost against Liverpool with five goals in their opening games. Holy smokes! So Liverpool starting out in a good way. I think we're going to have to fight against them this season as well, then. Fernandez, Arayemi. I think Arayemi was offside there, but no, he wasn't. We get our corner out of that. It looked offside, but never mind. Fernandez with the corner, and ooh, Fofana heading that one over. Here we go, Bellingham. Fernandez, Haaland, Bellingham, long ball to Adeyemi, but the Tottenham defender heading it down to his goalkeeper without any major problems. Let's see if we can stop Tottenham here. We could, and here comes Adeyemi again, but um, yeah, Mbappe stealing the ball. Mbappe shoots. Oh. It's a corner for United. <clears throat> and that's good. And the ball comes in. Haaland. Oh, Tariq Lamptey is very tired today. Mbappe is tired. Loads of our players are tired today. But I think they're going to get to start the second half. After that, we're going to have to carefully 
bring in pliers in order for uh, them to get some rest all of these tired pliers if we want to start out with them on the pitch and uh, yeah we only have three changes here we, as we all know since it's football manager 2022 and um, yeah I've actually started uh, to play a personal uh, save with Manchester United on the football manager 2024 and it's actually going a lot better than it goes for um, Eric Ten Hag, so yeah. But uh, I thought it was going to be really tough, but uh, it's going okay. And um, But it's nothing that I'm saving or something like that. I'm just playing it to as a relaxation so and here we are Adayemi carry him Adayemi 2-0 holy smokes it only now that's the that's the, actually the sad part because uh, to be honest I would have loved to bring both this save and the welling save into football manager 24 that would have been immensely cool and uh, yeah, but uh, we'll have to settle for, for this. And, um, oh, we're just gonna have to see how long we'll get to keep our jobs. But I think it was a, a, a wonderful thing that I could move my Telford save from Football Manager 23 to Football Manager 24. I really do love that because. Um, it is not the best of things to um, I'm just going to do a couple of changes here how do we have somebody we do have so no Stockbridge uh, Stockbridge I think we're gonna have to, it's more, more important to get Mbappe rested so, oh a penalty for Tottenham just showing up like that that's weird Reguilon, he's <laughs> he puts it in the post. That's the left defender that United is lending in real life now, isn't it? That uh, Reguilon, Sergio Reguilon, yeah, it is. Cool and interesting. Davis, Fernandez, Haaland. Now, in my Manchester United side, whether I've actually sold. Varane because he did get upset with me for some reason and I bought a, a central defender from Tottenham uh, Kristen uh, Romero or something his name was and he looks to be at least as good as um, as Varane so uh, I do recommend that um, oh look at this they are through here and that guy saves us again Thank you, Desire. So I do recommend that if you play Football Manager 24, the Tottenham central defender, Kristen uh, Romero, uh, an Argentinian player. So I do have a, an Argentinian central defense lock, so to speak. Lisandro Martinez and uh, Romero then as the central defender in, in my Manchester United. So, um, and as I said, it's going quite well. Close to 4 0 here. Interesting. Here comes Bruno Fernandes with a corner. And no, no, no. But uh, another good game from my lads. And another three pointer. That's good. Every three pointer is worth its weight in gold so it looks like Liverpool's going to be the main contender against us this season as well and um, yeah um, and I guess as long as they don't buy Erling Haaland or Mbappe from us we are we will be uh, willing to let them go because we don't want Liverpool to get them because Liverpool seems to be um, the team to try and beat in this game um, 
they've been really good um, all of the seasons that I've played this um, all the five see this is the fifth season so I've only played four but they've been really good they've been my main contender most seasons so yeah well another win marvelous and um, I guess I'll just see you in the next and last game for this episode see you there and so we're here last game of this episode it's at home to Everton let's move on into the game and uh, before the next game so before the first game of the next episode uh, the Champions League groups will be drawn that's interesting and I see that my best defender is actually not playing I have forgotten about him um, and that's because these two has play, have played very well back there so but he got injured and so I got my eyes up for him again so uh, he will be back of course um, but uh, not for this game though and um, yeah I think we're gonna play pretty much the same team again and um, maybe this time we will find a way to bring Andy Stockbridge into the team again and um, yeah let's move on We've uh, had a week of only training, no games for a week, which has been good for us, I hope. And um, let's see what the team can do. Let's go with that one. And we kick off and, of course, a skip. The game is off and running. And, um, yeah, I like this. Lamte, Benyot, Fofana, Fernandez, Fofana, Benyot, Bellingham. Oh, a long, nice ball to Adayemi. Back to uh, Mbappe, to Haaland. Oh! Holy smokes. There's Mbappe again. Mbappe and ooh. The question is what will happen? I mean, we saw Everton in real life now, I'm speaking. Uh, we saw what happened to Everton now with just one complaint about breaking the, the rules. And um, they're talking about 115. Ooh. Um, things that Manchester City has broken I mean why is nothing happening there I, mean, I didn't even know that Tottenham had, had broken against the rules until just before the the, ooh, the decision came out that they were going to lose 10 points but they've been talking about Manchester City now for, for years about their um, their problems so yeah it will be interesting to see if there will be something happening there. I mean, for me personally, I, I'm I'm going to be completely honest, and that is, I think I've said it a couple of times in, in my saves, and that is that I don't really care that that Manchester City has oil money behind them. I think. It could be used um, or done in a better way. Um, I think that they should allow them to use their own money to to uh, pay for signing on fees and uh, the the um, the money it takes to buy the player. Uh, I think they could do that from their own personal pockets without any problem. The important thing is that they keep the salaries down. So when when the day comes when they grow tired of owning Manchester City or any other um, rich person grows tired of owning this, the team, the, the, the team should still be able to, to survive. Oh! Should still be able to survive without their money. So let's say when Wayne Rooney was earning 1.3 million pounds a week 
Maybe um, City could have bought him and uh, the Cheik uh, giving him about a hundred million pounds and then he would have a salary of, uh, I don't know, 50,000 pounds or something like that. And uh, because I think that would be more more of a, a good thing for the teams so that the clubs don't don't uh, lose all the or go bankrupt so to speak but i don't see any reason why oh let's look at this if you have i don't i shouldn't say if you have because i have no money to take care of myself so no money to put into a football team but if they do have money that they can spend, why shouldn't they be allowed to buy players for that uh, and, and stuff like that to the club? I, I don't see any problems with that. I think it's just good to get money into football and stuff like that. But the clubs should not be risking uh, going bankrupt once the, the, the owner grows tired of the team. So yeah oh Haaland we've been playing good in this game creating a lot of chances but we haven't been able to put a hole into that the ball into the net so to speak that's a shame Pickford has played very well for them so that's my stand anyway when it comes to the FFP thing in the gym I wouldn't mind uh, the owners just putting in a lot of cash into the teams and stuff like that. Wouldn't mind it at all. The, the problem is when you sign players with, with wages that the club can't handle once the, the rich owners leave the club. So, yeah. It should be... I mean, you could have... You could have uh, clauses in the contract, which meant that um, you get the bonus money that you get when you win stuff. I mean, I could understand that they want players to have bonus. Ooh! I don't, I don't understand that they want players to have bonuses to, to make them more hungry to, to uh, win stuff. But that could be in a contract that the, the bonuses does only uh, apply as long as uh, the owner is still there. Uh, so that once the owner leaves the club, that is forfeited from the contract. Uh, and sure, maybe that would be a problem to sign it. But at the same time, I think it would be the most um, fair thing to do so that the, um, the club doesn't uh, end up with that kind of problem. So, so uh, yeah. Other than that, I, I don't really care that, that Manchester City have all those, all that money. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned, even though I detest City since I am a United supporter, I'm concerned of what's going to happen with Manchester City once the oil money ends when the when they grow tired of football and don't want to take care of it anymore the club don't have the finances to stand on its own, own legs so that is of course uh, the danger so that's why i i would have liked to see that sort of deal instead and uh, we wouldn't touch i don't think we would have had the the sheeting of the FFPs either, and uh, we wouldn't have the problem there. The money would be there, it would flow into football through them anyway, and um, yeah, so yeah. Would have been good, I think, to, to uh, stand it like that. Let's get into this game instead, because uh, we are playing good we're creating chances uh, and everything but we are not winning we are not scoring so something is rotten in the state of denmark and i don't understand 
what is happening here really. Uh, I think we're going to take out Fernandez now and give Stockbridge the opportunity to come in. Now it seems like Everton is starting to create chances, which we don't like. But now Stockbridge is on the pitch. Let's see if he can do something. Bellingham. Haaland. Lamptey. Long ball. And there is Mbappe. And Mbappe scores! 1-0 Manchester United here at Old Trafford. But it's going to be a VRR check. And the goal is award. Yes! Marvellous. Good ball by Lamte. A good run by Mbappe. And, uh, yeah. The goal is there. It's 1-0. And, uh, yeah, that's... That's all we want. The three points. But, uh, yeah. A long way to go still. Second half has just started. So, um... We're going to be a bit nervous here. Bellingham, Stockbridge, Haaland. Oh, Haaland again. Sancho. Adayemi. Oh, that's number two. Karim Adayemi. Hoo-ha. 2-0 for Manchester United. It almost ended up as a counter-attack for Everton there when Haaland first lost the ball but gained it back so yeah bit of a luck there to to be able to to score there let's see here Sancho Haaland Bellingham Arayeme oh Sancho Lamte Bellingham Lamte long ball again Pickford is there taking that ball now Everton with the ball. Can we get it back here? Yes. Yes. Here's Mbappe. Long ball to Arayeme. He saves it before the line. Mbappe. Arayeme. And Haaland. But was he offside or not? I don't think so. I mean, it doesn't look like it. it. Doesn't come up that it's going to be VR check. Let's have a look at this one. Arayeme. Into Haaland. Oh, Mbappe, I mean. And Mbappe just puts it to Adeyemi and Adeyemi. Yeah. Not offside there. Brilliant. Marvellous. 3-0. We run away with the tear in the second half. First half was very, very hard for us. And uh, now I think I'm going to pause it. Because I want to do two changes. And I want it to be... I mean, Davis is tired. But that's the only one that's tired. So more than that is who do I want to have the training? Um, so we're going to have Warburton coming in. And then the question is, do I take out De Gea to give Adam Ferguson some training help here? I'm going to do that. We want him to develop. So um, that's going to be interesting to see him and hope that he won't... Let any goals in. Here's Stockbridge. Here's Bellingham. Fofana. Bellingham. Lamte. Lamte. Can he get the ball in here? No. He gets it to Bellingham. He gets it in. And Haaland. Erling Haaland. It's 4-0. Marvellous. The question is, has the change been done before? Or um, will it come up now if we're going to do the changes? Look at that. Perfect. We did have a lot of problems with them, but once we got that first goal, we opened up the floodgates, and now it is 4-0. So, here's Mbappe, and ooh, should be another corner, Pickford, pushing it over the bar. Mbappe with the corner, and oh, come on, United. Mbappe to Bellingham. To Stockbridge, to Sancho, to Stockbridge. Shoots. Oh, gets a corner out of it, though. The keeper can't keep his uh, keep it in his clutches. So, uh, Mbappe with the corner. And now, uh, Bellingham. Come on, Bellingham. Bellingham. Sancho. 
And ooh. Here we go. Here comes Everton. And come on. Win the ball back. Get the ball away from them, please. Come on. Come on. Here comes Everton. They have a good play right now. This is looking dangerous uh, for Farmer. Sancho, we sorted that one out. That's a good one. Um, but here they come again. I think I'm going to shout to the lads to focus now because we don't want to... We... Ooh! We don't want to concede a goal here. I don't want us to concede a goal, to be honest. Um, oh, crap. Oh, good save by Ferguson. Come on. Adam Ferguson. He's an English goalkeeper, so it would be super if he could become our next superstar goalkeeper. I, I doubt it, but uh, I think he can become quite good, though. Warburton, no. I've high hopes for Warburton as well, so yeah. Fana, Stockbridge, Warburton, good ball to Mbappe and ooh. Lamptey, Bellingham, Sancho, Haaland, Sancho. Sancho shoots and no. Uh, good effort though, as it seems like we did. We've been taking back control of the game uh, after that period of... Uh, 10-15 minutes with uh, an Everton dominance. We are back in control. Since that save from Ferguson. Especially so his. Adayemi, Haaland, Mbappe. Oh, no power to that shot. So no problems for Pickford. Pickford with a long ball out. And Fofana grabs it. Warburton. Fofana, Bellingham, Fofana, Warburton, Stockbridge, Mbappe, Haaland. I think he was offside there, but no sound of that yet. Uh, was that offside? The VRR check, and it's been disallowed. Oh, it was like I feared. Yeah, clearly offside. No complaints from my side. Come on, United. Arsenal beating City 6-2. What is happening to City? Holy smokes. Mbappe, Stockbridge, Bellingham, Haaland, Sancho, and Pickford picks it up. Godfrey. Minimum. And uh, only 10 minutes to go, so we're hoping to win this and um, move on with our lives. Mbappe, Haaland, Alayemi. Oh, but was he offside or not? I couldn't really assess that one, to be honest. And he was, so he's been disallowed. He did look a bit clear, too clear for... for for it to be true. Yeah, look at that. Clearly offside. No complaints from me this time either. So, uh, yeah. Still 4-0. Uh, the important thing is that we don't concede a goal now. That's that's uh, my main concern. 4-0 is a good result. And um, I'm not hungry. I'm not hung I don't hunger for more goals. I, I just want them to keep a clean sheet now mostly for Adam Ferguson's sake and uh, but also for the team's sake of course so let's tell them to focus again Ooh. Oof. and a bit of luck there let's see five minutes to go five six minutes to go plus extra time Sancho with the free kick and Pickford with the save. Arayame, Bellingham, Mbappe, and it is kicked away from the by the Everton players. Mbappe, Warburton. Oh, come on. 
too good to be true there with all the back heels and and stuff but yeah and it's an incredible result here for nil after the first half that was completely dominated by us but we could not score we had the ball in the bar and everything but uh, score we couldn't but uh, once that first goal came uh, we've been dominating the game so oh good one we've had other chance we ha could have had a goal difference with a lot more with all the chances that we have created here today here comes Haaland and oh doesn't really reach a stand show there but here comes oh bellingham but uh, it's full time so um yeah four nil a good result and since it is the last game of this episode we are of course going to do a summary of the episode as well so let's move on and a little look about the future let's see arsenal city 6-2 and city is dead last after two games minus nine and no points what a wonderful start for city i wonder if they can come back from that um and yeah so let's move on here you see the champions league draw is going to be done on the 28th here which is just before the next game which is going to be the first game of the next episode but um so yeah we're top of the table uh but liverpool hasn't played their second game yet and uh, they only need to win by two or three goals on there and they'll surpass us so uh, yeah this the news here uh alfonso davis is a bit jaded Haaland sends us up top. Classy. We're going to have to praise Haaland. Um, and he praises Haaland as well. The finances, though, 57 million. That's all. We do have the opportunity to buy players for 72 million pounds. But to be honest, I don't want to buy anybody because I want to fix this economy problem that we have. Looking at all of this which is giving us a good income every year but looking at this which is very dangerous for us the loan that we are paying every month and will so do for many many months many many years to come we want to to end that of course in some way so we are not going to i'm going to try not to buy players and i'm going to try to get rid of Erling Haaland and or Kylian Mbappe in some way but we need the players that we have the young players that we have at the club needs to develop in the way that we are hoping for and 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 everything like that before we can kick them away I was close as as the player as the the people that has followed me here I was close to selling Erling Haaland this summer but um I decided not to do it at the very last minute. I don't remember who the which team that that was supposed to to buy them, but uh, buy him. But uh, yeah, I decided not to sell him, which I'm happy for. Um, looking at Adam Ferguson here, you can see that he is actually has some greater uh, potential than even David de Gea has. So um, yeah. I'm hoping he will be our next star goalkeeper. Um, would be nice to finally have an English goalkeeper. That's great. Um, so it's been some while before since we had a great English goalkeeper. Um, I did. I did believe that Paul Robinson were. Um, going to become a great goalkeeper but i think he had some some mental problems because um i mean he did get quite fat at one time in his in his career and stuff like that which also which which actually very often uh leans toward that that you have mental problems um so yeah 
but uh, yeah he was great for some seasons and uh, then he was completely lost for some seasons which was a weird thing to see but uh, yeah so i mean who do we have then to take the positions of erling Haaland and Kylian mbappe Th those two players uh, the players that we have uh, let's start with Erling Haaland, uh, where we have we have Rashford. He can play. He's never going to be as good as Haaland, that's uh, for sure. But we have some young players that we have some really good uh, feelings about, like Anthony Woodall, um, which I believe can become really good. Look at the potential on him. Maybe he can become as good um, as Erling Haaland. We have... Mathieu Verbruggen, also very high potential. So that's two, just two strikers that has the potential to become uh, players that can take over after after um, Ireland. We have Rowan Pressman here, Pressland. But uh, to be honest, I mean, he's not developing even though he's... Now, he's only 16. I thought he was older, but yeah. And he's a midfielder, right midfielder. Okay. So maybe he should be playing something there then. Um, we do have Andrew Harper. I don't believe he's that great, but it seems like it. I mean, he is has the potential to be five stars. So yeah, we have Tino Rainman, also a five star potential uh he's 19 now so he needs to start developing and uh, david mcavoy i think he's got some potential as well three and a half so we do have a lot of strikers that can become really really good but do we have any left midfielders we have chola short tire he should have developed by now he's 21 so he's probably not something that we're going to be putting any big effort into. We have Garnacho, 21 as well, so maybe not um, as good in this one. Uh, other than that, uh, don't think he's anything. We have Stephen Whittle that we could have trained there, but I think he's training as a central midfielder, so yeah. We don't really have uh, a left midfielder to replace... Um, uh, Mbappe at the moment I mean it's Rashford that is taking that position when he's out so or Sancho because Sancho can can play on the left as well so we do have the possibility to have Sancho on the left and bring in Morgan Pierce on the right uh, so yeah we do like this one Morgan Pierce it, it reminds me of gigs and stuff like that with his high flare and um yeah so so yeah and a potential of five stars there as well so we do have players that can hopefully if they develop right they can take the position of these two players and uh, then we can move on with lower salaries because we do know half a million pounds and all the bonuses that they're getting it's not working for this club 450 and all the bonuses he has i mean it's a ridiculous amount of money that we spend every week on just those two players um with the bonuses and stuff like that uh, we're we're most likely spending at least two million pounds for just those two players every week so yeah that's not good but uh yeah we've um as long as we're winning we can there is a reason to keep them but uh, if we were to start ending in second or third place and stuff like that um, then they are going to be way too expensive to keep they are expensive too expensive already now we can see that in our financial situation with this balance so to speak it's way problematic it's it's not good so uh, yeah but we can see here what they say down here in the dev center 
Roman Pressland can consider level two player. No, nothing about how good he can become. But we have here Sakuri Bouchet. Something with the five stars here could become one of the club's best player and potentially slightly better than Jude Bellingham. Now that's a high. He played in the World Cup for club teams um, for us one or two games. And I believe it is the right defender. I'm hoping that it is the right defender that we uh, want. Um, perhaps even somebody that can become even even better than than um, than Kimish in City. So yeah, and uh, maybe we should go into City and see what happens happens there. Vincent Company is manager now. They have still have Harry Kane as a captain. Uh, Ruben Diaz, and there is Joshua Kimish, which is a key player of the team. And the hot prospect is Robbie Gardner. So they do. I don't think they would like to get rid of him, though. Um, but taking a look at Joshua Kimish, he is a really great player. And I would have played him there in our team. And as a complete, he would be very good in our team there, I guess. Um, yeah, look at that. But, yeah, not much we can do. We can't sign him now because... And he's 30. He is 30 now, so he's tipping over. He's going to be declining now. And, uh, yeah, let's have a look at his career. Stuttgart, Leipzig, Stuttgart, Bayern Munich, and then Manchester City. They paid 168 million for him, for him, and they haven't won the league, have they? Which is interesting. I don't think they've really won anything um, in this game, have they? Um, uh, let's have a look at their schedule. And they were in the World Club up as well and reach the quarter final i see let's go back a season and uh, the europa league did they go all the way there no nope. semi-finals and we won the premier league so they didn't want that fa cup semi-final they lost in and uh, in the Carabao cup how did these things go there then they went out in the third round, so they didn't have a good season last season, that's for sure. And played in Europa League. Ah, oh, that's interesting. They were, two seasons ago, they were in the Champions League. And, uh, yeah, they didn't win the Premier League then either, but they were semi-finals in the FA, quarter-finals in the Champions league and did they do something in the Caraba cup the only fourth round and go back yet another one they did win the community shield so yeah they did win that game let's go to the end of the season here and we see they were in the champions league final against us and lost that season interesting FA Cup semi-final, they lost against Arsenal that season. So they haven't won anything big. And the first season, I remember Liverpool winning the league. So, uh, yeah, they haven't won it there either. It's, did they win anything the first season? They were in the FA Cup final and they won it against Burnley. Um, Champions League, they reached the quarter-final. Um, they they actually won the Caraba Cup as well the first season, so they did win some things the very first seasons, season, but after that they've only managed to win the Community Shield. And um, looking into the Premier League, and we can see, let's go for the stages. Yeah, we can see here this season, last season, they ended up fifth season before that, fifth 
season before that they were second season before that they were third that's the season where liverpool beat us to the league title but since then it's been us winning the league three years of three years in a row yes and we have the lead now in the fourth season in a row so um yeah looking good looking good and hopefully we can beat a record now and win four years in a row that would be great that would be really really great most time winners 23 manchester united how wonderful how a wonderful well i think we are done there i don't think we're going to be talking much more here now i think we're going to be ending uh, rounding it up as they say so um i do hope you have enjoyed the episode do like subscribe and leave a little comment down below um stay safe out there in this uh, tough world have heaps of fun and i'll just end with bye 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 bye